you enjoyed playing with Jack Eichel, and, and in which, I mean, it's easy for us to focus on him scoring goals, but it just seems like he's been the complete package for you guys, especially in the postseason. Yeah, exactly. He said a uh, complete package. I mean, he's he's a force offensively, but he also does a lot of job the defensively and you see at the last uh, minute of the game there he strips the puck there and a rally to get an empty net goal so I think he he just uh, does it all for us. You guys won the rebound after giving up the short hand goal in the first power play like you kind of make some adjustments in the power play had success. Yeah you know what like it's not good enough for a group to give up like a PK goal like that a uh, PK for them goal. Uh, uh, we're a little disappointed with that, but I mean, there's so much game left in, uh, after the first period. So I thought we we got to our game uh, after the first goal, and uh, uh, it was uh, it was a good game. What, what did you do better on the power play after that? Just a better, better decision. I th I still think we did weren't that great, yeah. honestly. Uh, yeah, I think so, uh, especially me. Yeah. But I mean, uh, no, I thought that we were all right overall. Uh, but I mean, we we definitely need to be more of a a factor, I think, in the next few games. Is it easy to play with Michael? Is it an adjustment? Yeah, it's an adjustment, I, th I thought. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's easy. He's the guy who likes to puck on his stick. I uh, used to play with Carl and Smitty for five years before that, so definitely uh, it was an adjustment there. But, I mean, uh, he's a gifted player with the puck, so we're just trying to get it in, the, in his hands. How valuable is the 2018 experience you guys were on that team winning game one to find it to this week? What's the as far first? As you won game one against Washington, and you know, have, have that experience. How's the valuable is that for this one? Yeah, I mean, it's, obviously, you've been we've been there the first time, and it didn't work out. And uh, I think we're a little bit more humble to, to the situation now, and we know that it doesn't mean anything winning one game in one series. So uh, for us, the focus uh, is on next game, and uh, that's how we're going to approach every game. <laughs> Playing right now, what sort of influence does Phil Kessel have on this dressing room? Uh, yeah, it's huge. I mean, uh, big part of uh, the team chemistry this year. It's 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 him. You know, it's he's been uh, he's been great to hang out with, and it's just his uh, the way he he talks. And uh, you know, you need a lot of character on your team, but you need a lot of characters, and he's definitely one of them. And uh, he's definitely uh, I enjoy every second being with him for sure. Can you give me an example of his character or something? Get hit a couple times. Uh, just kind of the way it goes. Uh, we can listen. We, we've, we've done it all year as a team. We're, we're not gonna uh, you know, back away from anything. Uh, but we also don't really go looking for it. Uh, you know, if those moments are there, you know, we're always in there sticking up for each other. And uh, I think that's kind of what you saw in Game One. Again. Thank you. I think there's some good memes of you kind of smiling through some of the stuff and, and you know giving reaction back. Do you uh, do you follow along on social media at this time of year? Or are you kind of skipping out on them? Uh, no, I get I get the odd things sent to me uh, that I see, but uh, yeah. So I I've seen some of it. Uh, so my buddies and whatnot they'll send me stuff. And, uh, that's what's cool. How, sorry. So is it, how important do people look at the stats, but how important is the, the discipline part to not get drawn into the BS in the series? Uh, yeah, I think so. We they've been doing that all playoffs, right? Uh, so certainly, nothing's going to change. 
the emotions are high. Uh, games get physical and get ramped up like that. I think there's a uh, there's a, a game within the game, uh, so to speak, where uh, you know that kind of stuff is going to happen. With uh, as, as a group all year, we've uh, never really start any of that stuff. With, uh, you know, I shouldn't say never, but uh, but you know we're, we're, we don't we don't necessarily go looking for that stuff all the time. Uh, but we're definitely not scared of it. And, uh, it's never something we're going to back away from. I think it's a good way to put it. That's kind of been our mindset as a group all year. And, uh, you know, we've never been pushed out of a game because of that. We've never uh, you know, you know, pushed to the outside because of that. It's it's something that we you know, feel comfortable doing. And, uh, and I think we can we can play that game as, as well as anyone. Is it, is it almost intentional to not only not get caught up in it but smile at it and just say like you're not gonna you're not gonna get to this? I'm playing the Stanley Cup Finals. I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> it's, a, it's a dream come true to be at this stage. So uh, I'm a pretty happy guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what does it say? Like, I think a lot of people just from the outside expected there wouldn't be a lot of guys on the ice today. I guess what does it say about your team that everybody was like here, wanting, wanting to get out there? Uh, we're we're right in the thick of it, right? I mean, uh, job's far from finished, and, and, our, and our focus now shifts to game two. So, uh, you know, it, we we did what we had to do in game one, but you know, we almost got to cut that loose and. And game two is, uh, you know, we're starting 0-0 zero, zero again, and we got another big game. So uh, it's about refocusing, resetting, make sure we're ready to play more. Thanks. Where are 